last rule we're going to talk about in uh, chapter P, section 2, is called the power rule. And the power rule, basically what the power rule is, it's uh, what to do when you raise an exponent by an exponent. So as you can see, we have a base here of 2. It's a numerical base uh, that's raised to an exponent of 2, and we're raising that to the third power. So uh, if you want to get in a good habit, I'm going to show you kind of uh, two different ways to do this. If you want to get in a real good habit and get these right most of the time, uh, what you can do is you can take your outside exponent and you can take the base, which is what's inside the exponent, and write it that many times. So it's really 2 squared times 2 squared times 2 squared. Well, obviously we're multiplying like bases. The base will not change, but we can add the exponents. So that will give us 2 to the 6th, which as you guys well know, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, hopefully. Okay. Uh, the longer you use this stuff, the easier it's going to get. You could have easily said this is 4, so this is really 4 to the third power, and then figured out it's 64. And you're going to eventually see another pattern uh, that we're going to kind of talk about here in a little bit. Now, uh, on the next one, we have 3, or x to the third raised to the fourth power. So this is really going to be x to the third times x to the third times x to the third times x to the third. So our exponent is 4, so we write our base 4 times. When you multiply like bases, the base does not change, but we do add the exponents together. So when you add those two together, you should get an exponent of 12. All right. Look at the next thing. Uh, we have this right here, and now the game's changed a little bit. And the reason it's changed is because now we put a coefficient in front of our variable. It really doesn't make too much of a difference as long as you do the rules right. So this is going to be 2x squared times 2x squared times 2x squared. When you multiply all these together, uh, to your coefficients, you're going to multiply them. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. The base will not change, but we're going to add our exponents together. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So 8x to the 6th. Now, what you should probably see, and you guys have probably been taught this somewhere in the past, is you can kind of almost cheat a little bit. But the problem is, is when you cheat a little bit, if you don't understand the rules that you're using and when to use them, you're going to get a lot of these problems wrong. So what you could actually do is, anytime you're raising something to the third power, you can take this here, this here, and apply it to both of those. Well, when you raise an exponent by an exponent, you can multiply your exponents together. So 2's exponent is 1 currently, so 1 times 3 is 3. And then uh, x's exponent is 2, so when you multiply those together, you'll get 6. And then 2 to the third, of course, anytime we have a numerical base, numerical exponent, we would simplify it, and we'll get the same thing. Now, the problem with that method is, is that there's a tendency to get problems wrong. And the reason is, is because these rules that I showed you in this method right here apply only to monomials. So this problem down here in red is actually one of the most commonly missed ACT problems. And the reason is, is because people look at this and they take this 2 and they apply it to the x and say that's x squared. And they take that 2 and apply it to the 2 and get a positive 4. But unfortunately, that is not the right answer. And the reason that I know that's not the right answer is because they're not using the rules correctly. And the rule says that anytime you have an exponent of 2 and you're applying it to a base, all you have to do is write your exponent twice. So whenever you have a binomial inside your radical, you can't just square each of the individual terms. You have to treat that binomial as one thing. So we'd write it this way. When you multiply it out, you get x squared plus 2x, and then plus 2x again, and then plus 4. So that actually turns out to be x squared plus 4x plus 4. So make sure that you understand the concept of the power rule. If you get into writing it like this, Okay. If you get into that habit, I guarantee you, you're going to get these more often uh, correctly than you will incorrectly. Okay. This definitely works, and please feel free to do it, but just realize that you need to change gears when you're looking at a binomial, because these rules right here that we're using up here don't apply to a binomial, only monomials. So make sure you don't make that mistake.